The winner of our next quarterfinal bout will meet Amaramnik in the semifinals of the Slam Tournament. And this quarterfinal matchup pits a 19-year-old kickboxing phenom, testing his medal against an opponent who won his first pro bout at the age of 15 and went on to wear the prestigious World Muay Thai Council belt. Please welcome Masaki Noiri and Liam Harrison. A fan favorite here in Japan, Masaaki Noiiri, ranked number eight in the Glory World Federation rankings in the featherweight division. Seven KOs for Noiiri. And Noiiri was uh, a very mature gentleman when we talked to him uh, at our meetings, and he, he looked a little bit older than 19 years old because that's just a cub, you know, really. He's an excellent technician with great d defense, and he uses his range very well. Nori Erie at age 19, the youngest fighter in the tourney. In the corner, from the UK, Leon A true knockout artist, the UK's Liam Harrison, the hitman, 47 wins by way of knockout. I think the trick here is he's got to make sure he doesn't look past the, the teenager in this fight and have his focus on Amrani in a possible rematch if he wins this. Harrison sits and the first thing that jumps out here is Harrison's experience advantage. And Harrison will be the bigger man, so the question is, can Noiri's youth conquer all? Ladies and gentlemen, this quarterfinal matchup again scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, this man, the winner of the Road to Glory Japan Tournament. His record, 18 wins, three losses, seven by way of knockout. Standing 1.75 meters, he weighed in at an even 65 kilos. Representing Japan, currently ranked number eight in the world, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Masaaki Noiri. Here now is his opponent fighting from the red corner of four world kickboxing and Muay Thai champion. His professional record, 72 wins, 14 losses, two draws, 47 big wins by knockout. At 1.72 meters, he weighed in at 64.9 kilos. Representing the United Kingdom, ladies and gentlemen, currently ranked number three in the glory world rankings, here is Liam, the hitman. ゲームのレベルのコンテストメドロトエナガ第4試合65キロスラムファイナル8ノイリーマサキ対リアンハリスノイリーマサキ対リアンハリスノイリーマサキ対リアンハリスノイリーマサキ対リアンハリスノイリ
and Masaaki no Iri in the blue. We are underway. I can't believe how fast that right low kick of wow. uh, no Iri is. Man. And quick jabs there by Harrison. Harrison, the Muay Thai fighter, been working on his boxing, but he's all speed. Ron Kruk along with the fight professor, Steven Quadros in Tokyo, Japan for Glory 8. It's a very intense match here. They're both standing directly in front of each other, right in the center of the ring, trying to pick and pick at each other. And it, but it's Harrison with the hard low kicks that are landing more often thus far. Low kick there by Noi Iri. And a nice combination by Harrison. I can't believe how fast that kid's kick is. This is our second quarterfinal slam fight. Left hook lead by Noiri lands. What a shocker. Front kick by Noiri. Oh, Harrison. High kick, but blocked by Noiri. Now he goes to work on the body. You know what I see here? I see a lot of pride between both of these guys. They're standing right in front of each other saying, I want your shot, let's then let you see if you can take my shot. Mm -hmm. Fighters exchange low kicks. Harrison with a high kick to the, just under the arm of Namir. Catches and then slips. It's interesting, he caught the leg of Noiri, landed his own low kick, but then he fell down. Noiri is, is kind of pushing Harrison back. I mean, a little we surprise not here. expecting. No. The hitman, Liam Harrison, knows we're always moving forward. Really sound defense there by Noiri for the, for, uh, against the high kick, because uh, Harrison has gone fishing a couple times with that left high kick a couple, and it, it's been blocked both times. Continues to work the legs, does Liam Harrison. And you're right, Noiri is, is not, not threatened. He just keeps moving forward. Knee there to the body by Harrison. Look at that. Left hook to the body with a choppy little clipping right hand. Just barely tapped Harrison. Three seconds, the referee will break you from the clinch. High kick by Harrison, and good body shot there by Noriri. Fighters picking up the pace. There's the veteran Liam Harrison, ranked number three, but really, Stephen, I was impressed by the youngest fighter in the tournament, Masaaki Noiri in that first round. Ron, you and me both. Noiri came out there and, and established his confidence immediately by, by starting things off with a low kick. And then he's chopping away. Look at this left hook from outside of nowhere. And Harrison shaking his head. Yeah, man, good yeah, that shot. Got through. Yeah, and look at that left hook and that chopping right hand. Noiri, uh, to me, really impressed me. But uh, there's that power. The power of Harrison, even if it's blocked, that hurts the arm. Seconds out, please. Seconds out. Personally, I would favor Noiri no! taking the route. Round number two, Liam Harrison and Masaaki Noiri looking to move on to the semifinals to face Mosab Amrani. It, it seems to me that Noiri is doing everything just a little bit sharper than Harrison right now, especially with that skip knee from the outside earlier on. Oh, and no. that was a low blow. Harrison lands the low blow. As so we check out our scores from round number one, judges gave it to Liam Harrison. Yeah, they did. Uh, four to one. If the, if the, you know what? This is going to be really hard for him to recover from because it was a hard knee straight up the middle. And by his body language, oh, no. We had such a good fight on our hands. Hopefully it won't end like this because nobody wants this to happen. Uh, of course not. Liam Harrison 
checking out, but Masaaki or Iri is not really moving. You hope that he's just taking the time to regroup, but that was a solid low blow. Yeah, it was unintentional. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Uh, here, here we see it. It's coming straight up the middle. Oh, let's see, that's a street fighting move. If you want to win a fight in the back of a convenience store at 3 o'clock in the morning, do this. <laughs> Words of advice from the fight professor. But this is a bad shot. Noriri going down and taking his time with the low blow. Mm -hmm. You hope that he can continue this fight. He looks to be in severe pain at this point. Taking as much time as possible to regroup. Well, what we have here is in the event that an injury arises in a tournament match, it will be considered whether a culpable move can be said to have occurred prior to the injury. If the injured fighter can be blamed for the injury himself, and or of course that doesn't really apply here, but if the injury was caused by a prohibitive move on the part of the other fighter and the injured fighter cannot participate further, the first entitled fighter from one of the reserve matches will take his place. As always, those reserve matches are so huge in a tournament. I'm really hoping that isn't the case here because it, it would be really unfortunate uh, for both of these gentlemen. An unintentional low knee by Harrison has caused this fight, which was turning into a really great uh, fight. That was right at the middle. Uh, there's no denying that that, even when you have a cup on, obviously, you know, Noiri goes down in pain. This is not an acting job. You don't learn that from Stella Adler or Lee Strasberg. No, that landed flush. And remember, the two winners from our earlier reserve fights are Russia's Andre Bruhl mm -hmm. and Thailand's Chan Lek Samui. They oh, I, are oh, standing good. by. This is good. I, oh, please. And a round and this, of This applause. kid is so good already in this fight. Forget about the injury. The way he's composed himself. I, the judges ruled he lost that first round. I, and I'm fine with that because the first round was close. But this kid has got a future. Seriously. So many times you see fighters that don't take all the time they can. They yeah. try to pop back up and a veteran move by Masaaki Noiri yeah, wow. by taking all the time he could to regroup. The only problem here for Noiri is that shots to the body will hurt a lot more. Low kick by Noiri. Noiri's got to shot by Harrison. Yeah, Noiri's got to get his back off the ropes though. He's, because uh, Harrison is a very strong guy and he, See, there's that knee again. Both fighters mixing it up. Very nice. A body shot by Harrison. Oh, man. And a knee by oh, Harrison. What a crazy match this turned out to be. Flying knee and here he lands. His flying knee. Fighters exchanging now. Two minutes to go in round number two. Marie coming out and uh, blasting away. We Oh, that's a nasty cut. It's from a knee, too. It's from a knee and a clinch. Oh, he's got to be frustrated because this could be stopped for a TKO win for Noiri. It was a legal technique. It was a knee on the inside. What a huge upset this would be. This, uh, you know what? He's begging. Oh, bad oh, spot, that's and that nasty, is a nasty, oh, nasty oh. cut, Stephen. I can't see how they could. That was <laughs> over. And that is it. This fight has been called as we take a look at the knee that landed flush to the head of Liam Harrison. It was a rising left knee right on the eyebrow, directly over the eye, finishing this one, giving the young man, Masaki Noiri, a TKO win here in the second round, coming back after that injury, too. What a huge upset. Boy, he just spoiled the rematch party. 
This has got to be like a nightmare that Liam Harrison would have never even thought of. And always expect some upsets in a tournament format, but this is a massive one as Masaaki Noiri entered in as the number eight ranked fighter. And that cut just ended this fight. And as soon as he felt it, Liam Harrison said, I'm cut. You could see him say it, he knew it. And I'm gonna say this right now. Masaki Noiri is one of the greatest Japanese kickboxers I've ever seen.